strong can suffocate the Charizard, and how well Dan can take his opening as a normal film. Instead of having uh, Justin, aka uh, me, wow, I type in Charizard for Dan. <laughs> Talking about that character a little too much. Got uh, Justin, aka Meatball Melvin, hopping onto the mic with me. For this, uh. No idea. Let's say we're on uh, game one. Uh, howdy, everybody. Uh, it's your favorite commentator, Meatball, Meatball Melt. Well, looks like Dan actually uh, playing Mewtwo here. I have seen him play Mewtwo in the. Uh, every. Like situation has been the best of three, mm -hmm. and I've seen him go Mewtwo against everyone he's played. Really so that is JK, mm -hmm. and he also played Mewtwo a game against Antony. Oh, uh, it's not so very bad for Mewtwo though. So I don't think it's very bad. It's I think considered it's, his, it's considered his worst matchup. Yeah, I, it's, it's, I think it's very doable though. It's doable because Mewtwo's like good enough to make it work, but yeah. it's definitely one of his worst matchups, especially when you, it's not your main. Yeah. Um. Uh, but I don't know if Sir Hunk is like that bad, good. amazing of a cloud. Oh, uh, that down there not safe one hit there. He's back like here. Very laggy. Oh, yeah, it seems a little laggy on here, but uh, right. Right, yeah. Sir Hunk taking a very early stock there. With not even a minute on, he's already has a nice lead. It's always interesting watching Sir Hunk play. Yeah, he's so aggressive. He's a very aggressive cloud. So he really likes to take his pressure and run with it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought you have to use the limit there. Pick up up tilt to the nair. I said he hasn't uh, played in like two weeks, but he's uh, yeah, looking great here. Nice, gets a raw nair. I love raw nair. Yeah, raw nair wow. always looks and just yeah. side beats him, destroys Dan B2 there, game one. Probably gonna see the Charizard coming out. This is best of three or five. I don't know if it's best of three or five. Dan, is this best of three or five? Uh, okay, so we're in winners' quarters now. Okay. Yeah, I uh, saw that uh, Asian Will made the upset over Dream. Yeah, a very, that was a very hype set right there. Great gameplay from Will. Good. I really thought he was going to get 2 0 after he uh, squandered that, uh, that bucket. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Instead of going to Battlefield, uh, Dan uh, switching to a very awful skin. We're not here to talk about skins. Yeah. Uh, this age very good for both characters. Yeah. Looks like Dan is trying to work with his Mewtwo. At least while he's still in winners. Yeah. I don't know if he'll switch. No, I thought this would come out after how heavily you lost game one. Mostly he's really trying to actually work on the secondary. You can dash attack in the up smash bar. Is that a cloud confirm? Uh, for cloud? Yeah. No, he's just, uh, uh Dan's mostly just pressing the button. Uh, dash attack doesn't really combo anything. It says it in good situations where if they air dodge or save your button, they can. Uh, but nothing that, like, right now, this is just very dominant again for Sir Hog. Only 3% on him. Yeah, Sir, um... Sir Hunk is doing a lot of anti-air up smashes, yeah. so that's like very unique. I don't see how it's really up to go for up smash yeah, as yeah. much as he's going for it. Yeah, I mean up smash is not nothing super amazing, but it's still a very good tool. Yeah. Very large and kills, so. Yeah. so utilizing see how the pop is... shot very well. Stan doing a lot of regular get with Mewtwo is a very successful option and gets yeah. F tilted there. Still living. Uh, Mewtwo very light, but not that light. Yeah, I guess Ash for jumping off the ledge. I think Dan should be doing it. More camping. Yeah, he hasn't done like any Shadow, Shadow Ball at Shadow all. Ball, Shadow Ball camping is very That's, good. That was one thing when I saw Dan pick this character. I thought it would be kind of odd for him to play this character. This character played well. is usually very campy. Yeah. And he's a very aggressive player. I feel like to play this character aggro, you have to have a very nice mutual combo game. And I doubt um, Dan has that. Yeah. So it optimally is played like more camp yeah. campy yeah, The Shadow Ball is one of Mewtwo's best tools. One of the best projectiles, if not the best projectile in the game. Sure, yeah. And uh, it's really just... Sort of either throwing out really new. Well, it actually works there. Sure. Still living. Uh, Cloud very heavy in limit. I feel like Dan, while playing this Mewtwo, he's doing a lot of things that a lot of like lower, lower level people mm -hmm. do. We like talked about this last time. Like trying to help Shane get better is like he's just going in. Yeah, yeah. Is this gonna kill? He'll run up like shields. That no, doesn't kill. Like, bait out what um Hunk wants to do in neutral. Just dashing at will. Yeah, it's sort of just like pressing hitboxes. And it's not working out. He's not outwilling the will of Sir Hunk, <laughs> so he's just getting kind of ran over. Uh, it's still looking better than game one, though. Because yeah. in game one, he'd already lost the game. But this one will kill. <laughs> yeah, despite the score, it is 1-0 in Sir Hunt's favor. Oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll up that next game. Sorry, guys. A little slipping on the wheel here. Slipping on the wheel? Slipping on the wheel. That's, that's just not a saying. That's a saying now. I made it a saying. Slipping on the wheel? Yeah. Whatever, bro. <laughs> 
Also, he's like, uh, he's like, I'm like double agent, like, like, so. Back up. You back up. Back up, bro. <laughs> I was born first, so you back up. Get out of here. Anyways, bro. get out of here, Ronald McDonald. Right now, uh. Wow. Right now, uh. Uh, Sir Hunter, they're definitely looking for that cross slash. Huh? And just down smash his Down smash is his, uh. Reverse 3 0 with Charizard, baby. It's coming. Reverse 3 0. Yeah, so Alright, Tristan reverse 3 0. It, Dan's, Dan's not memeing around anymore. Here comes, here comes uh, Neutral B at the ledge. You guys love it. Neutral B at the ledge? You guys love Neutral B. Press 1 in chat if you love Neutral B at the ledge. One, huh? Is this really water? I don't want this. What is this? Oh, you're joking. <laughs> is that Brew again? You lied to me earlier. Anyway. Oh, you say that? Whatever, it's, it's, it's fine. Right now, we got a Charizard versus Cloud, what I expected to see at the beginning of the set. Uh, I said before you hopped onto the mic, one thing, uh, Cloud tends to dominate the neutral. He's, He's dead. dead. He's dead. He's definitely dead. He uses, up, he uses limit up you during the flame breath, so you should just let it hit him and drop low, and then... I thought Dan did a good job of that. spotted with that. The flame, the flame breath? Is, the F tail, yeah. That's a Charizard's best, uh, safest option there, because he doesn't have to commit to anything. Yeah. Uh, it's not it's like easy, per se. It's like down smash, but if you miss time down smash, you can maybe even punish. So. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, a F smash. It's not going to kill anytime soon yet, though. Not from the other side of the stage, anyway. Uh, Dan's still kind of susceptible to the cross slash, though, right now. It's a nice nair into F tail. Oh, it could have probably given out a nice conversion off that auto. Oh, oh I thought that was going to be really good. It, it could have, but it was way too early to trigger. And yeah. he, if he even, he got the auto cancel downer there, and he could have gotten a conversion off that. Yeah. Uh, this will be very hard here. to recover. Yeah, yeah just yeah. downer. Shut up. Sure, yeah, as expected. Uh, Dan doing way Dan better. Doing way better with his uh, the actual main, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sir Hunt uh, tends to struggle yes. against Dan's Charizard. Um, yeah, he's taking like a set. He's taking one set. One only. set lifetime. Uh, one thing I think we talked about how Sir was very aggressive. Uh -huh. And I feel like when you're playing Cloud in this matchup, you want to be very defensive. Oh, yeah. Because, like, agree. you just need to, you really need to. Charizard, if you space your backers properly on the shield, can't really do anything to you. Yeah. And he struggles to land. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, if you're playing aggressive, you can just get run over, thrown off the stage, and just die. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you don't have limit. I'm uh, looking at Chad, and uh, local Mega Man aficionado, Jared. Yeah. Derek notes that uh, Hunk's smile completely yeah, vanished, got deleted. Yeah, yeah, and I saw it IRL, and it, it definitely did happen. Um, right now, not too bad, though, but... Uh, right I want to see a... Move away from move, so... There's not enough room over here. One thing I want to see more from a uh, hunk is um, I see more limit charge in general. So you really want your limit in this um, yeah. matchup so you don't just die oh, off stage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I also want to see it more aggressively ledge trap. Uh, he's sort of just letting Dan get back on the stage free, and that's uh, Cloud's ledge traps are incredible, and Charizard really sucks at the ledge. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gets a there's a regular get up. Oh no. Dash attack. He's probably gonna lose a limit here. I don't like to. I don't like to see the blade beam come out there. That does go past the flame breath. Uh, if I could have done actually a uh, run up up smash on that F smash and killed him there, but yeah, wisely and, using that rock smash to fake through um, start hunting move and then yeah. catches him. I like just do it. Yeah, uh, with that spot back. I think uh, he positioned it really well. Um, I think Sir Hunt was attempting to land from up there. Uh, nice back air, still living. Yeah, Charizard, one of the heaviest characters in the game. I, I don't like these blade moves. Just uh, I want to see like the limit charge, because so he has his win condition on deck, and so he doesn't die. That is not a win condition. Like, good? No, no, no. Is that auto cancel in there? Good. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Gets out smash. smash. Uh, this is this is still fine. fine. So to make, you can get a lot of percent very quickly, like right here. Yeah. Uh, reads the air dodge, but doesn't get the cross slash. Yeah, doing these box shots, really, uh, weaving in and out. Oh, an air, looking... Oh, yeah. drops the drops shield shoot. on the cross slash. Right now, Snug got the lead. He's, uh... Oh, he's getting it's, caught out by Yeah, that uh, dash attack. Dash he's attack. A, oh, look, oh, look at that platform there. there. This is, this is his moment. 
Because he, uh, he gets a, he gets a cross slash at the ledge, and that, that'll do it. That'll do it. Yep, Nair into cross slash, and obliterates him. Yeah. Uh, good stuff to Hunk there, taking his second set lifetime, I believe, off of there. Yeah. Really showing the volatility of that matchup there. Uh, when, when Hunk was able to get the momentum going, he really destroyed Dan there on that second stock. But when Dan had the momentum going, oh, he destroyed Dan, uh, Hunk in that first game they played Cloud Charizard. I think that, is that what Hunk and Winners Finals? I believe that made Winners Finals, actually. Yeah. I think that was Winners Semis. Yeah, that was definitely Semis.